Well, welcome back to the Mara. We're on the murderous Mara River with a group of wildebeest that are considering uh, taking the plunge on this cool morning. And uh, let's go have a quick look. I'm not sure how many of them, but they, they look to be a fair number um, at Main North Crossing. They've been here for about 45 minutes now. Um, you can almost see them talking to each other. No. Should we do it? No. Shouldn't we? No. Is there a crocodile? No. Uh, all around this area and uh, they've been as I said they've been massing they've been considering and uh, it's going to be interesting to see who takes the first plunge here we go hello gnus now it looks like they might be deciding oh no 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 let's 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 move along it does it looks like they've changed their mind but of course, with wildebeest, they might change their mind back again. Remember to use the hashtag Safari Live if you've got any questions. And uh, my name is Brent, and I'm sitting in migration control, and my migration is moving away. Now, it's always a good idea to keep a very close look in this area um, for lions. We've had quite a few lion kills happen right here. And they use that long grass on the edge of the river to sneak up towards the unsuspecting gnus. Well, the safari mild, wild man says, come on you beasties, take a dip. Well, I think they think it's a bit chilly this morning. Uh, maybe they'll wait for the sun to come up a bit and uh, then they will possibly think about taking the plunge. Of course, it would have been quite cold last night. Lots of rain about. Oh, what do we have there? We have a spur-winged. Don't run behind the grass. Oh, he's going to run behind the grass. Of course he is. I'll oh, keep an eye see if he pops out again. But there's a spur-winged lapwing. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that these wildebeest are not going to cross. It just means they might not cross right now. Or they might move up to cul-de-sac crossing or, or down to main south or, or even dusty crossing. At the moment, just milling about. Umbra says, why do I call it the murderous Mara River? Um, well, I'll try to find the reason why now. So as these wildebeest take the plunge into the water, death waits. So, oopsie, uh, wrong way, there we go. There's some hippos. They're not so murderous if you're a wildebeest, though. Let's have a look. We might spot one here. Nope. Let's try a little bit downstream. There we go. Now, where are they hiding? Now, they should be coming out of the water to warm up. Where are they hiding? So, the murderous Mara is due to the crocodiles, the absolute behemoths that live in the river around the crossings that are wait, waiting for those wildebeest and uh, as they take the plunge and uh, the crocodi uh, crocodilians will pounce I think I see one yes I do I think that's one up there is that a crocodile no it's not a crocodile but we do have a heron They're not up and about just yet, the, the big crocodiles, but they will be. Alas, no crocodiles visible, but that's why I do call it the murderous Mara, uh, due to the fact of the, the very big crocodiles that we get. Ooh, oopsie, that was a bit fast. Um, tally Ho is wondering, is it a less dangerous time of day to cross? Well, Tally Ho, I think any time of the day, it's dangerous to cross this river. And there are just so many large crocodiles. Now, it looks like they might be moving up towards another crossing point. Maybe they saw a crocodile. Oh, there's some Egyptian geese flying through. 
But as we say adieu to the Vuldies, uh, let's go back to Byron, who's on Hunt for Leopards.